In this video, we're going to look at a tip on how to use vertex caching on skin characters to get faster playback in Viewport 2.0. If we bring up the options for Viewport 2.0, you'll see that vertex caching is turned on by default. It's using the hardware to calculate that. In this scene, I've got some multi-sample anti-aliasing turned on, as well as some depth of field. I've also got my time slider set to playback every frame free, which means it's going to try to playback as fast as it possibly can. So the idea behind vertex caching is the first time it goes through the animation, or the caching in general in Viewport 2.0, is the first time the animation uh, gets played through, it's going to cache out the results, and the second time it plays back, you should get a speed improvement. And you'll notice that in this scene, the second time it plays back, we're actually not really seeing a speed improvement at all. We're still hitting right around 12 frames a second. So to, to get this to actually work with skin characters, you need to throw the option for use to formal normals to the off value. As soon as I do that, and we play back the animation, you're going to notice that already we've got a speed improvement. We're now hitting 15 to 16 frames a second down here. And the second time this animation head goes through and, and kind of flips back to the beginning here, you'll see that we've now jumped right up to around 24, 25 frames a second. So really what you need to do to get vertex caching to work with skin characters in Viewport 2.0 is make sure that all of your skin clusters has the deform user normals value turned off. And as soon as you do that, you're going to get that really nice playback acceleration after it's been cached. So that's, uh, that's a tip I have for Viewport 2.0 and vertex caching with skinned characters.